hello wordpress nerds in this video we are going to talk about how we can execute custom sql queries safely using wpdb method so if you are new to this video um, i have created this playlist called crude operation this is the this video is part of this uh, playlist which is depend which depends on all this video i have created i'll be displaying demonstrating this method using one of this um, one of this video i have created so i would suggest to go and start watching this playlist and if you know what you are doing just keep continue watching sorry about that so this is my local site this is my custom plugin i'll be adding uh, this custom uh, sorry this code inside this custom plugin this is the custom table I have created and demonstrating everything using this custom table so before jumping into the code let's insert some data over here let's say apg column age 55 And let's say Swami Vivekanand, let's say age 50. So now we have some, num some numbers of data inside this table. now what method we should use to make sql query <coughs> safe so in order to you in order to make it safe uh, we wordpress has a method called prepare which prepares your query it doesn't execute sorry it doesn't execute the query it only prepares the query so um everything will remain same which i showed you before um in this file so this this file is the part of my custom plugin and i have showed everything inside this file so let me open one one um, method which we used in the past so let's say this one select so here we use this get variable method so this gets the variable which remains the same and we will be preparing this query um, using safe method so i'll i will cut up oh, sorry about that I will cut this entire query I will assign is assign this into a variable so everything will remain same we will just make the query safer and yeah this one so now let me remove this um, First, let me show you what we are getting inside this result. So, I'll be opening my front end, will pass query parameter or query string, and the result is 6 because we have the first um, value 6 over here. So get variable gets the first um, first variable from the result. Now let me make this little bit easy. So for example, let me get the first name only. Let me get the first name from table 
So now it should get homey. Yes. Now let's add some condition. Let's get first name where age equal to 55. So I'm going to make, make where age equal to 55. And let's see what we get. We should get APJ in the result. Okay, now this is not the safe way. In order to make this SQL safe, we have to use this prepare method. So how do we use that? So it is a similar, just make prepare. I'm making it multi-line because its second argument is an array of values. So here we are passing value directly over here. But whenever we use prepare, instead of passing value, we have to pass a placeholder. And placeholder is like percentage D it is for the numbers and percentage S is for the string values so S age is a number then we have to define that as a number and then second argument is <coughs> we can pass directly like this 55 now let's see what happens we are getting the same result because we are making this query um, in a safe way for example uh, if I add one more condition like where age equal to 55 and uh, last name equal to Kalam last name equal to so as Kalam is a string so I'll be passing percentage s so as this we have to write this in, in this order for example age comes age is for a placeholder comes first so we have to pass age then the last name placeholder is coming second so at the second point uh, second uh, place we have to pass this column so now uh, it will it won't change anything but uh, let me show you this query by echoing so that you get the idea so this is nothing but the same query like this but in the same uh, safe manner so similarly you can do this for everything we done in the past like in the get row as well you can over here we are checking first name equal to abc so you can pass percentage s over here put the wpdb prepare and go similarly for the get column get result wpdb query yeah you can use this at everywhere where you define the uh, custom sql query you cannot use this in this wp delete method or update or insert but you can do the similar 
for WP delete update and insert like this so third argument you can pass like this so if the first name you expect uh, you have to pass the key value pair over here this is correct but if you are expecting this first name string then you have to pass this first percentage s and if you are expecting age is digit then you have to pass like this so this is how you can make this method safer as well yeah this is a uh, third argument is the what format similarly for this update you can pass fourth argument over here then for the insert as well you can pass the third argument format like this so this is how you can execute wpdb queries safely um, if you have any doubt question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys